हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप एवरी वन ऑफ यू इज फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम्स स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर मैथ्स टीचर मिसिस मोनिका शर्मा फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर सेवन एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर सेवन दैट इज मेजरमेंट येस दैट इज मेजरमेंट हाँ जी बेटा इन दिस वीडियो टूटोरियल आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू मेजर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स येस फॉर measuring the length of any object for measuring the length we need to use centimeters and meter units we measure the length of any object in centimeters and meters and for weighing for the weight if we want to find out the weight of any object then we are using grams and kilograms yes grams and kilograms and for the liquids when we have to find out the capacity then we are going to use milliliter and liters yes centimeter short form is cm and meters short form is m gram is denoted by g and kilogram is written as kg milliliters are written as m l l is capital here yes and liters are used with uh, capital l yes now beta for this purpose we are going to start exercise 7.2 in this conversion is there in this conversion is there but before doing the conversion you must know the conversing units yes we must know the units means in 1 meter there are 100 cm in 1 meter there are 100 cm when 100 cm will be there then we will say it means 1 meter yes it means 1 meter now in sum number 1 there is complete the conversions sum number 1 is 3 meter 25 cm yes 3 meter 25 cm and here you can see we have to write the answer in centimeter we have to write the answer in centimeter here we have to write the answer in meters here again we have to write the answer in meter and centimeter here we have to write the answer in kilometer and meter yes like this in different type of units are there in different type of sums yes now here first sum is already done but i am going to explain you 3 meter 25 centimeters 3 meter 25 cm yes as already we know that 1 meter 100 cm so 3 meter it will be 3 multiplied by 100 it will be 300 cm so 3 meter can be written as 300 cm in the same way it is written here 3 meter is equal to 300 cm but with this 25 cm are also there so 300 plus 25 cm these both will become 325 cm as i am i am also showing you the calculation here the sum is 3 meter 25 cm we can write this 3 meter plus 25 cm and we have to convert these into centimeters yes so meter we need to convert 25 cm is already in centimeter so here firstly we will convert the meters as i have shown you the calculation here when we have converted 3 meter into centimeter it has become 300 cm plus 25 cm when we will add these both these are 325 cm yes that is why you can see here answer is written 325 cm after that see here sum number 2 4 km 75 m 4 km 75 m and the answer we have to write in meters yes for this purpose we must know 1 km is equal to 1000 m we must know 1 km is equal to 1000 meters yes so here the question is 4 km 75 meter so how we will write this 4 km plus 75 meters yes 
now 4 km, 1 km, 1000 km, 4 km, how many meters will be there? 4 km, 4 multiplied by 1000, it will be 4000 meters. Yes, so 4 km can be written 4000 meters and 75 is also there, 75 meters. Now, 4000 meter plus 75 meter. When we will add these both, what we will get here? 4000 plus 75. Here, 5704. We will get 4075 meters. Yes, now the next sum is there, 723 centimeter, 723 centimeter and our answer must be in meter and centimeter. See how we will do this sum, 700, when we are speaking, listen it carefully, 723 centimeter. So, as we say, we will write it like different, different karke likh 723. Yes, so this is 700 cm plus 23 cm. Yes, now see how we have to write the answer. Here it must be meters. Here we are having centimeter. So we have to convert centimeter into meters. Now see when there are 100 cm means it is 1 meter. When there are 100 centimeter means this is 1 meter. When there will be 200 centimeter it will be 2 meter. 300 centimeter it will be 3 meter. 400 centimeter it will be 4 meter. Yes, like this when there is 700 centimeter it means it is 7 meter and 23 centimeter. Now see how we will write the answer. Here 700 centimeter and here 23 centimeter. Now 700 centimeter plus 23 centimeter. Now 700 centimeter can be written as 7 meter and centimeter will be written as it is. Now in the same way here it is when we are going to speak 6125 meter. So here we will write 6000 here we will write 125 these both are meters yes now 6000 meters means 6 kilometers why because already I told you 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter yes so we can say 1000 meter means 1 kilometer 2000 meter means 2 kilometer and in the same way 6000 meter means 6 kilometer 6 kilometer and 125 meter. So here the answer is 6 kilometer 125 meters. Like this you have to complete sum number 1 all the parts. Now see sum number 2. Here we have to convert. Yes for the conversion beta you must learn as already we have discussed 1 meter 100 centimeter. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter and 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. When there is a word kilo then 1000. When centi is there centimeters. Cent word is there then we have to use 100. Yes for doing sum number 2 you must know these both. So here for sum number 2, first A part is there, 8 meter into centimeter. We have to convert. Convert means change. We have to change 8 meter into centimeter. Now, 8 meter into centimeter. We have to convert like this. So, firstly, before converting, conversion, 8 meter, for converting 8 meter into centimeter, we must know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 
then 8 meter is equal to these both will be multiplied 100 multiplied by 8 when we multiply these both we will get 800 centimeter so 8 meter is equal to 800 centimeter yes this is the a part of sum number 2 then after that b part in b part there is 3 meter 10 centimeter 3 meter 10 centimeter so here are the two parts we will write using plus symbol we have to convert this into centimeters 10 centimeter is already in centimeter so only we will convert firstly 3 meter so 1 meter 100 centimeter 3 meter 100 multiplied by 3 this is 300 centimeter yes so 3 meter when converted these are 300 centimeter plus 10 centimeter then these both 310 centimeter when we will add these both we will get 310 centimeters yes now in the same way you people can do c part by yourself okay and deep f part also you can do by yourself now here i am going to explain d part 4 kilometer into meter yes 4 kilometer into meter yes firstly we must know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so 4 kilometer 1000 multiplied by 4 it will be 4000 meter so we can say 4 kilometer is equal to 4000 meter yes after that beta there is e part in e part the question is very simple 3 kilometer we have to convert this into meters so firstly we will write 1 kilometer that is 1000 meter then 3 kilometer 1000 multiplied by 3 it will be 3000 meters yes it will be 3000 meters so we can write 3 kilometer is equal to 3000 meters yes like this beta you have to complete sum number 1 and sum number 2 in your fair notebook in good handwriting yes sum number 1 you can do on book and sum number 2 you have to do in fair notebook yes thank you so much hope you have understood this concept thank you beta god bless you